Hi and welcome back to South African Homesteader. Today we're just doing an update on our home build. This is the main bedroom, i.e. my bedroom. And then in here, this is going to be the bathroom. You can see here, this is for the shower, the shower outlet. The toilet will be there, the basin will be there. I and mean, in this wall here will be a rail with walls. This will be a wall. Come back out into the bedroom. And then you go down this passage. Down this passage, which is still my room. So we have a window there. We have a window in my room there. We have a window there. You have a sliding door here and you have a window here. This is all part of my room still. You come in here and in here won't be a door. This is my dressing room. So, yeah, obviously that's why we have a plug in case I need one. And then this is the wall that connects to the bathroom. So the dressing room um, doesn't have a window because there's light coming in there, natural light coming in there. And also from the stairs, going to be a sliding door that side. But from the passage, really, there's going to be light. And other than that, there will be um, lights in the dressing room. And in, if you once you get here, about here, where you see this mark, this is where the door into the into my um, suite, the main suite, is going to be. So that is the door here, and then you go through into the bedroom around the, the ensuite and the dressing room. Then you come here as another sliding door here. Another sliding door here. As you come further along the passage, there's a bedroom here. Okay, so this is a bedroom. Also nice and big. All the rooms are quite big. Okay. And then this is where the view is. So that is that is an ornamental tree, sort of tree garden there, which will eventually have some other things. Then we have 10 fruit trees in that orchard. In here we have, I think also I counted, um, this is a 10. Because it's two notches, two apples, two loquids, a fig, um, Pig, avocado pea, some I just I can't think now what else is here but anyway so yeah this is um an orchard and in that is an orchard so together with that and this is about 18 uh fruit trees that's excluding the, the that's a grape there on that vine and a grape that's a kiwana or an African horned melon that's also creeping over there um so that is that and then you come out here and then into this bedroom here which I can't get into now but yeah you also see um, also that side of the house and in here is going to be a door and this is brand no not yet here's the bathroom this is the bathroom to service these rooms and then here is a door straight in here so this room same like mine is from wall to wall this is going to be my my mom's room when she comes here to visit or to stay for a couple of weeks or month or however long she wants to stay so yeah she will be looking out over this orchard this section closest to us obviously this is going to be a lawn section with some um tables and chairs and trees and also it will have some nice shade in the afternoon because when the sun goes over then this is going to be a nice shaded area on this side and then obviously um that hedge there is those are the eugenias that i got as a gift i actually realized that this is exactly that's actually eugenia that i had i just knew it as an ornamental tree with a red berry but i had a big one in my garden in um 
Cape Town. Probably still is there. It does make a little bit of a mess when they shed those berries, but this is fine for you. So that is going to grow into big trees. I'm actually not going to cut it into a hedge because I now know what tree it is. That's what I had. And then that's an ornamental that I got from Mani. I don't know which type of ornamental it is. The leaves is coming up nicely. And then that is my um, conifer. And then there's another conifer in the bag. That conifer I'm actually keeping for when we come inside here. So then this is this um, section. That's going to be the bathroom. As you can see, that's going to be the shower there. That's the basin there. And the toilet will be right there. Right? And then obviously this wall will be your mirror, wall rails, whatever. Um, so this is so yeah. Yeah, so what we've done here is we've cut away the passage completely to make it no passage going down there. That room comes all the way down till here. So from the all the way till here. And this is my section of the house, the privacy section sort of the and this is called the East Wing. And then you come into the West Wing. We haven't done anything in the West Wing. We're busy focusing on that East Wing because I'm hoping to that roof is going to be totally independent of this roof um, because the the roofs are these are three roofs there's one there and and a higher one here and the same height one is there, there so this is going to be very high and then low and then low but it's not quite low because this is almost four meters high this wall is 3.930 and that is 2.7 at the back so the slope runs to the back here yeah, it's almost five meters and here yeah, it's about i don't know what's almost four meters and it runs to the back here yeah. again same thing here yeah. so what we're going to do uh for now just uh, uh to get to an update we are going to build that section and this section we are going to build this see here this wall here this wall is what was going to separate the two parts of my house which it's still going to do but what i'm going to do now i'm going to build this wall all the way through um here's an opening here you see between um between these two sides which i'm still gonna have so i'm gonna make a 1.2 opening here and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna knock it closed with board i'm actually gonna knock it closed with board for now um so this wall must go up i'm gonna knock it closed with board and the only other wall is there in the pantry coming out there and there Everything else here is open plan. So there's no walls going inside here. So this concrete in the center hasn't been thrown. This must be thrown. So that is all from our house build that we have to show you at the moment. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you find any of this interesting. And um, we'll be back with uh, another video as soon as we have more to show. So from me, Haria at South African Homesteader, until next time.